What's going on everybody, Tech Kid Geek. Today I want to do a little video that I got the upgrade to Jelly Bean 4.2.2 and I just want to kind of show a little upgrades that I figured out so far and kind of get into like what's some of the updates and if they look good to you, do you like them, do you like the new update or anything like that. So I'm gonna, let's go on and get into that right now. Yeah, so I just wanted to show some of the uh, new features that I've seen so far and one of them is when you touch the clock it kind of goes into this box form around the uh, unlock thing so so when you hit that or you unlock it you go straight to the clock features where you can go to the um, you can go to the regular clock and the date and stuff like that then you got the little stopwatch thing and also you got the, um, what is this Oh, well, you got a little hour o'clock thing. I guess it's like for alarms and things like this, I'm guessing. So I've really never gotten into this. So I guess that's one of the things that, you know, new th like the stopwatch is pretty much a stopwatch. You hit the stopwatch and then it starts right then and there. But it's kind of like, um, you know how Apple has that in embedded with their, I think they clock. So I guess they got this in the lock screen and things like that. And also, when you go to the lock screen, you can go to some unlocked apps and things like that if you want to go to the camera you just swipe to the right and if you swipe from the left you can have an open application or like a widget more than likely that's just say let's say if I put um ESPN there and then you got ESPN you know on the billboard or your little unlock screen apps and things like that and some of those type of things now I noticed that the camera it's redesigned and things like that. So, hmm, what's this? Uh, no, thank you. I will not be doing that. And another thing I've noticed while well, I, I like I upgraded to the update like maybe what's the day? Wednesday. I think it was like Monday night that I saw. It. No, Tuesday morning that I saw it and I upgraded. So I was kind of learning things on the fly. And one of the things I noticed in the um, notification is like a little picture and like like a face thing with three little things right here and this is where you can get into you you got your picture there if you have a picture it tells you your Wi-Fi it tells you um, what signals you have like right now this is a, um, a phone I, I lost and I found somebody found it for me so this is like I took the SIM out of this one put it in my new phone and you can tell if you have like the uh, internet signal not the internet signal the Verizon signal right there this will be where it would be you got your brightness your settings your uh, battery life airplane mode, Bluetooth, clock, and also you can go to the settings and things like that. Timer stopped. Oh, yeah. That's when I hit the little clock thing. What else that have I noticed? Well, that's pretty much it from what I've noticed. Now, there's probably more that I have really got into because I really haven't had time to figure out all the stuff that's going on here. But I just wanted to give a quick little walkthrough of what some of the things I found. Some of the useful features that I like, but they haven't really grown them yet. Like the lock screen stuff. I guess some people want certain things out of the lock screen. Like, I guess if you want to get your ESPN scores and things like that, I kind of think you just want to do that from the lock screen. Me, personally, it's a, it's a, it's a one-off type of thing. I can deal with it I can't I can deal without it so it's it's a cool little feature I guess if you want to go straight to the camera app a lot of times from the lock screen you can do that now so it's one of those type of situations where you probably you, you kind of get what you looking for and you, what you ask for so I like some of the features like some of the stuff like like I said the notification thing when you hit the little tab and you get all your information with your Wi-Fi signal your um, cellular signal your battery life and things like that. That's useful to know because sometimes when you see it up in the little corner right there, you don't know how much battery life you got. It doesn't tell you nothing. So you kind of can swipe through there and find out your battery life and things like that. So that's, a little, that's the end of this video. I ain't really going to go into much, a whole bunch of things I haven't found yet. If I find out more, I'll probably do another video let y'all see that. So please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. If anybody who upgraded or has who got the Nexus 4 or any other operating system that upgraded to the 4.2.2, Please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Just because I want to know, do you like the new upgrades and the, um, the updates that they did to the um, OS? So please let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Always rate and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys.